Welcome back to RK Cloud Play by Play. I'm your host, Skip Champion. With me, as always, is Mackenzie Dunkelmeyer. Hey, Skip. Hey, Mackenzie. What's the fastest way from point A to point B? I feel like this is a trick question, but I want to say a spaceship. Oh, good answer. However, in DoorDash, our current level, it's through a door. <laughs> now we're we're gonna be following Fall Guy 1558 as he goes through his journey from round one to hopefully the championship. We'll see how this goes. Mackenzie, any strategy tips on DoorDash, one of the early levels here? Um, well, my first, strategy, my first strategy is to dress for success, and I think our player has done just that. Holy moly, they definitely have. What's that, a cape on top? What's on the bottom? Oh, that's a tutu, Skip, and I am quite familiar. I am here for it. Fashion choices uh, uh, are a plenty in this game, and I like this combination. Holy cow, look at... Ooh, oh, that was a heavy fall, but you know what? When you've got a cape on, you're, it's almost like you're flying or falling. <laughs> That's true, Skip. Wow. Ooh. And our champion has qualified for the next round. Thank goodness, but not without a little push there at the end. Oh. All right, here we are down to 39 contenders, including... Our, our guy, Fall Guy, 1558. We should come up with a name for him. What do you think? He's got an F on the front of his chest. What, what should that stand for? I think his name's Fabrizio. Fabrizio. All right, well, let's follow Fabrizio to roll out. It's like six logs at the same time, all spinning in different directions with 39 of your closest friends nearby. Who doesn't do this on the weekends? Oh, who doesn't love a log? Am I right? Oh, I love a good log. Any type of log. Real log, uh, a cinnamon log, Ooh. a dessert log. A again, we we're following Fabrizio as he's pushing people around. This is a this is a tough strategy. He's the aggressor, and he's definitely not taking any prisoners. He's looking to push people off off of the rollout uh, rolling pads here. Skip, I gotta disagree. I, I think he's trying to get hugs. Mmm. Nothing like a good long hug. Am I right? That's right. Oh, I like to hug my cat. Hey, thank you. Thanks for sharing, Mackenzie. Yeah, no problem. Here we go. It, uh, oh, and speaking of cats and dogs, the person in the wolf skin nearby gets a little shove there. I haven't been able to push anybody off off of one of these platforms yet, but you know what? <laughs> I'm going to continue to play like our, our friend Fabrizio here and try and be the last person standing. And Whoa. he is! Wow. He's qualified just like that. Wow, Skip. I did not see that coming. Do we level up his nickname, Skip, and call him Fabrizio the Fantastic? Whoa, that's a mouthful, but <laughs> let's do it. Fabrizio the Fantastic moves on to the next round, which is, of course, perfect match. It always is. It's like watching a draw. It's like watching a movie on three screens. You've got your your regular TV on one wall, uh, your other TV on another wall, and your other TV on another wall. You're watching three things at once. Does everybody have this set up at home? No, I don't, Skip, but I once stayed in a hotel and there was a TV in the bathroom, and I thought that was cool. Hey, that's great. Was it pro was it projecting oranges and grapes and bananas like in uh, like in this game here? I wish, Skip. It was just projecting TV, regular TV, so not as cool. Yeah. But I did order room service, and there was a fruit salad, so. Ho oh, ho! There you go. Speaking of, I'm getting hungrier and hungrier the more I watch this, and dizzier the more that our friend Fabrizio <laughs> yeah. the Fantastic spins their camera around. I like to keep my my camera in one place. What do Stationary. you think, Stationary. Yep, I would agree. I think that's the only strategy you can have. You know, fun fact, this will give you vertigo, and you'll have to use the Epley maneuver, as we learned earlier today. You know what? If you spin around five times in one direction, and then you spin around five times in the other direction, you're not dizzy at all. Oh, do you think that's how One Direction got their name? A hundred percent, and that's a fact. Oh, a quick dive wow. from our hero for Breezy the Fantastic, and he's qualified. My goodness, he was—he jumped on top of the pit of people. Oh. Hard, hard to see. Normally, they call it a mosh pit, but when there's fruit involved, it's a mash pit. On to our next round with 19 qualifiers, including our hero who we're following. We're on to Hoopsy Daisy, and those are hoops. Those aren't diamond ring emojis. What? For real? That's what they tell me. 
I've never actually reached this round, so we're gonna have to follow our hero pretty closely here. Looks like a team round. <laughs> it looks like a team round here, and we're going team red. We're ho hoping for this journey to continue. And that cape, that cape looks even better in red. Am I right? Oh, you're right. I, 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 I really thought those were diamond rings, Skip. Hey, you know what? Wow. There's, you know what? I believe you. It, they can be diamond rings to you if you want. Oh, that's. Those nice. are little. Little helicopters on top. So with this <laughs> with this game, like most games, there's a lot of conveyor belts, a lot of moving parts. My strategy here, stay on level ground, wait for the rings to appear, and and just kind of like keep my camera in one position. What's your strategy here, Mac? Uh jump through the rings, Skip. Wow. You know don't I don't need to do more than that. Right. Um, also, I just noticed that the pineapples uh, are white in here. They're no longer yellow, which that's cool, I guess. Um, I if I've said it once, point. I've said it a hundred times. Never eat a white pineapple. <laughs> no offense, but uh, <laughs> nine times out of ten, they are not ripe. <laughs> that's right. They look Unless, like they've um, had the color sucked out of them by a pineapple vampire. Exactly. Unless, you know, you're into painting pineapples, that sounds fun. And it's a, it's a fun little activity you can do after school. Oh, yeah. That's a great birthday party activity, I think. Mm, sounds painful. Always make sure to wear gloves. Yes. All right. Our hero's got 20 seconds left to keep the red team going and winning be, uh, to beat the yellow team and the blue team. These team games are always so stressful because I... I can never, you know, work uh, with anybody else on the team. In fact, you're the only person I like to work with, Mackenzie. Oh, same, Skip. What a team. What a team. Oh, and we're two, one. What? And we qualified. <laughs> the blue team did not stand a, da a chance. My goodness, absolutely not. Here we are at Jump Showdown. We're going to follow our champion, fingers crossed, that he wins here. So... Here's the, here's the strategy for this. I like staying on one platform and just doing the double dutch. A little jump rope action here. Try and get away from some people. But let's see if our hero brings out his push technique in this round. Wow. He's getting pushed from the beginning. He's getting pushed. Or or did that person want a hug? I, I think that's the question I haven't been able to answer, Skip. The tables have turned. You know what? For me, if someone wants a hug and I want to give them a hug, I'll do it. But, you know, other than that... Nope. All right, we've got a raptor. We've got a couple pineapples rucking around here. Yep. And you, these platforms are going to get crowded as they fall. That's why I like to stay right in the middle of them. And it looks like, you know what? That cape is helping uh, our hero become a little more aerodynamic. Wow, I think you're right, Skip. I By now, I mean, a, a, a lot of the fall guys have fallen, so... That's true. Yeah, and just for happened. reference, the skins... Uh, don't help you in any way whatsoever. So it's just a fashion choice. Oh, oh and okay. another, another platform goes down. <laughs> oh my goodness! What an escape! He went. He went up and over. Wow! Aloha oh. pineapple. Ooh, the, the pineapple aloha. Gone. We like to say aloha to the pineapple. Hello, goodbye. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and then just just our hero on this one platform here. This is exactly where I like to be. This is good. I mean, you're not you're not competing with anyone else. They're not pushing you. No one to push or hug. Or hug. Yeah, that's true. <gasps> there you go. And what? they've qualified. Wow. Qualified. There could only be one at the end of each at the end of a, a, a series here, and it's our champion, Fabrizio, the Fantabulous, with an F on his chest. <laughs> oh. Boing. <laughs> we love what it. a cool trophy. Thanks for tuning in to Arcade Cloud Play-By-Play. -play. This has been your host, Skip Champion, joined by my best friend and two-time Fullerton hot dog eating champion, Mackenzie Dunkelmeyer. Hey, what kind of footage do you guys and gals want to see in our next Play-By-Play? -play? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing video game content. And as always, be sure to run with your tummy out. <laughs> That's right. Take care, everyone.